when you see uh, women looking up from this tool and re- starting to realize that they have they have actually 16 weeks of paid maternity leave that they have not been aware of and they look up for it with teary eyes and say you know this this tool will take us from darkness into light Quizzer is a tool that helps uh, global suppliers to uh, secure their uh, employees' rights and responsibilities. We also help the supplier by generating all the data that we get from our training tool. We can give uh, uh, content back to the supplier and showing their progress. And we also give the supplier an opportunity to share this progress with global buyers, which means that this is a business-driven, long-term sustainable tool. So you get a pad to your, or, or a tablet to your, to your factory, you get the tablet out, you open it, you press start and then you get a video that shows you how to work the tool and then you start to train. And with the tool uh, you, you first look at videos. This is a fantastic way of teaching people their rights and responsibilities. So you see short videos and after that comes a quiz, so you answer the quiz and from that answering in the quiz form we can also then generate data so we can save all the data and we can get measurability into the field of social responsibility so there's different motivations depending on who you talk to uh, if you talk to a worker for example that we have done a lot of, of research and, and meeting people in factories and discussing with them what do they need they need the, the knowledge but they also need stability and they need uh, uh, f- to feel safe in their environment. But it also needs to be training on their terms that is simple enough, but also attractive enough for a supplier. And the owner of a factory, what they're looking for is a tool that is flexible for them, that they can use whenever there's uh, lead time in the factory where, where you have an opportunity to train people, you can actually ask them to go and train Quizzer. So this gives the supplier an opportunity to actually be flexible in his learning. He doesn't have to stop production for half a day and do trainings. He trains when it's possible for him. Is this a tool for the, for the buyer? Yeah, not necessarily. It's a supplier that actually has the biggest benefit of training their staff if they get to share the data with buyers so that buyers can actually motivate and promote good suppliers. So this is why Quizzer started, because both me and Sophie, we have seen how business can change lives for people uh, and we want to be part of it. So I think the, the key that they have told us is that they need to find a way of actually measuring what is being done. And as I explained earlier about about the opportunity to actually see that a supplier has taken this responsibility, that you can build a business relationship that is long-term and that is built on trust, is a, a massive opportunity for a company like Axwood or Flippa K. There's still a lot of suppliers that say, you know, I'm not so sure about, you know, training my my staff. Is this a good thing that they should know more about their rights and responsibilities? We know from experience and from H&M's cases in Bangladesh, for example, that social dialogue and and better knowledge in these areas actually generates more stable and more lucrative business for a supplier. But we need to get these business cases made. So that's why it's so important to also have companies like Axfood and Philippa K part of this study to help us also to show that this is actually generating change. I can share a little bit about China because it's an extremely interesting market. Five years ago, I lived in, in China. In China at that time, I had a feeling that the supplier said, okay, if the, if the end consumer has demands on you as a buyer, it should probably be your cost that you need to take, right? And this has totally changed, I feel, today in China. When we come the last time, they say, I have a harder time recruiting staff to my factory. There's more people not willing to work in factories anymore. The people actually come to my factory have much bigger demands on me as, as an employer. Because the way that we, uh, you know, employed and used their mothers and fathers, they are not willing to live with. 
So they say you have to take better care of me. You have to become a more, uh, you know, responsible and more modern thinking uh, employer if you're going to be able to get staff into China. And this changed the whole mindset of the total business. So today I feel that our product is coming at the right phase also for the suppliers to be able to say, good, this is a tool for me. It's on my terms, it's flexible, it's reusable, and it makes me a more interesting business partners to global buyers, but it also makes me a more interesting employer. And this is where I feel that, that the time in China is now changing to truly, to truly be there and to actually make a big change. I think China is, is also, when we look at Axfood, Philippa Co, Klaus Olson, it's the most interesting market to start with. There's a lot of, of uh, I get goosebumps even talking about it, you know, there's a lot of inspiring stories when we go out into factories that truly makes us believe that this is something we need to get done. Because when you, when you meet people in Bangladesh, for example, and when, and when you see, when you see uh, women looking up from this tool and re starting to realize that they have, they have actually 16 weeks of paid maternity leave, that they have not been aware of, and they look up for it with teary eyes and say, you know, this, this tool will take us from darkness into light. Um, you, you truly feel that this is something that can really change people's lives for the better, not only for the, for the men and the women working in the factories, but also for the children to these men and women in their factories. Uh, we can create long-term uh, um, long business, and we can create a lot of, of growth in different segments, and we can create job opportunities. We can create, um, with, with better business in a country, we can create opportunities for families to send their children to school. We can create a new middle class. We can create a total shift in a country's perspective of their, their own self and also in the perspective of, of the world around them, looking at them as a country that is actually generating growth, is generating better business, is generating better opportunities for people. And in order to make that happen, you need a tool that can help you also to secure the workers' rights and responsibilities. And this is where we feel that we can truly make a difference. Yeah, I, you know, of course there are certain things that I would like for our business to, to come um, further. But if I could wish for a one innovation, I would probably think of a long-term sustainable energy source for the world.